Hey guys, Yarek here and welcome to Emberskip. And today I did gather quite a collection of fossils like these ones and we, will, we are going to make some macro photos with the microscope. So let's go ahead. First thing up close, I wanted to check this Helicides chain corals. These are extinct corals, they are over 400 million years old and they have very interesting patterns, which I think might look even more interesting up close. With naked eye, this piece looks much better. Through microscope, I can see some damage after acid prep. Gotta be more careful with this in the future, but the name of the coral really represents how it looks. These are clearly the chains. Okay, now let's look at the other chain corals, because I have quite a few of them. Second favorite is this one. This second specimen has clearly a lot less damage. These patterns are a lot more chain-like. It looks wet because it's covered in Paraloid B72 for preservation purposes. One thing noting here is that this is not the single organism. These are thousands of individuals in a colony that grow in these chain-like structures. And these are different species too, judging from different patterns of the chains. Most of these came from local rivers or sand quarries around Lithuania. It's always exciting to find beautiful chain coral. Okay, so we are done with the chain corals, now I have all sorts of corals, from Jurassic to also Silurian time epoch, and some are with very different patterns, and these five, or maybe six, this six is the ones I'm talking about, they all look like candies, but let's see on the magnification. This one is called Favocytes, the walls between coralites are pierced by pores, more common name is honeycomb coral. This one fossilized in quartz crystals. This genus had a worldwide distribution from late Ordovician to late Permian period. Next one is called Heliolites. It's also a tabulate coral, and it's extinct as all previous corals. Specimens of this genus are found from Ordovician to Devonian beds all around the world. Personally, I have only few specimens. They are less common to find in Lithuania. This one came from Latvia, and it's fossilized in quartz crystal. Now, this peachy goodness came from the same fossil hunting trip in Latvia during the winter. Color of this piece is simply amazing, and looking at it through microscope shows that preservation is amazing as well. It's 100% a fossil, but I wasn't able to identify this one. Even if someone have any hints, let me know in the comments. I will much appreciate it. And this one came from the red clay sand quarry. It's the place where I'm hunting for rainbow ammonites. It must be Jurassic in age as well, but it's not identified. With naked eye, these tiny holes were looking like flowers. Up close we can see it's just holes, but they are formed in ci circular patterns all across the piece. If someone knows species of this one, let me know. Now I will steamroll a bit through the photos, because there's quite a bit of these corals on my table. All of these are solitary corals, better known as horn corals. The rest are unidentified, but it's very interesting to observe that most patterns kind of share some similarities with other corals, but at the same time they are totally different. Macro shots shows a very different perspective on these pieces for me, perso for me personally. Even though I'm using cheap digital microscope, I'm applying focus stacking techniques to capture focus on the whole piece, with combining like 30 pictures into one. Then I improve resolution and remove noise from the pictures with the help of software like Photoshop. And I have to admit that making pictures of these fossils are a lot easier than trying to capture insects inside amber. There is no distortion when something is not in amber. Now, 
let's check a look at this weird brown concretion because I have no idea what it is and I definitely see something on it. So this one will be a surprise even for me. Let's check it out. Okay, okay, so this looks very familiar for whatever reason, but I've got it identified and it turned out not what I was thinking it is. <laughs> It's nomalites, in other words, sea worms. Scientific name is Foraminifera, and it seems it's a graveyard of these organisms. Now, after making some macro shots, I'm a lot more happy with this find, and it will go from fossils box into fossil display cabinet. Now, all that's left are basically uh, gastropods, shells, brachiopods, ammonites, and so on. So, basically, my favorite part and the most interesting fossils. Well, that's personal. <laughs> And I wanted to start with this giant ammonite. It's tiny, yes, but it's still one of my best ammonites. It has most, most of the shell intact with crazy colors. Shell is golden and we can see iridescence of green, yellow, orange and a bit of red. Kind of like opal. And I've got more tiny ammonites. All have shells intact, most of them are iridescent. So far I've acquired 7 pieces of tiny Lithuanian ammonites. I call them rainbow ammonites. And I'm very proud of them. And in the future hopefully I will gather more of them and hopefully bigger specimens. Just to give you size perspective how tiny my tiny fossils collection are. Basically truly tiny. And yet when it's a lot of them they look cool together. Now this is one of the most common fossils in our lands, the brachiopods, and these are a lot older from than ammonites, from the Silurian time epoch, over 400 million years old. While common, most brachiopods are crushed or damaged or just tumbled, so when I get my hands on complete pieces I throw them into my tiny fossil collection. Now I have these interesting gastropods, they look as if they were deep fried and look like snacks now, these are from the Devonian period, period dominated by giant armored fish, scientific name is Platyschisma, sounds a bit sci-fi to me, age would be approximately 390 million years old. I'm pretty sure this one is a piece of crinoid stem, but it's super rounded on the sides. There is no clear break at the bottom that would show that it's just a section of a crinoid stem. I had tiny hope that maybe, just maybe, this is tiny echinoid, but it's super unlikely and probably just a crinoid stem. All of the rest are all kinds of gastropods from the Jurassic period and <laughs> one trilobite tail. I found them in the same concretions as ammonites, so it's safe to say they are a bit over 66 million years old. Oh yes, most of these fossils I found inside concretions, it, it was quite a struggle to remove them undamaged from the rock, sometimes tiny piece could take me over 40 minutes with Dremel, and fair amount got destroyed in the excavating process. And yeah, that's probably will be it for the video. Let me know if you enjoyed it, because I planned to make another one macro photo photography session, but this time with ember, because I have amassed quite an amount of ember that requires some photos of inclusions inside. And yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!